Well, Dave, there's no such thing as a routine game in League Two, but that felt quite routine tonight. How did it feel from where you were? Um, it felt routine for 60 minutes uh, in terms of how we went about things and you got yourself in a, in a winning position. Um, we probably should have put the game properly to bed in that first five minutes of the, sec of the second, second half, which, which we didn't. The, ch uh, the sending off, um, yeah. again, it affects what you're thinking, it affects our thinking on the side, it affects players' thinking. And uh, probably similar to Saturday, I was disappointed with the last half an hour um, mm. because that should be um, the perfect scenario to be able to see out a game in real control while still going to yeah. try and hurt hurt the opponent. Um, credit to them, they made three changes, brought some legs on and, and almost had nothing to lose and probably mm. from their perspective we'll look at it and go they moved the ball better um, with 10 than they did with, with 11. Um, but it, I think it just it took the edge off us in terms of you almost get into a mindset of trying to see the game out as comfortably as possible mm. and we made things difficult for ourselves by being sloppy technically um, but listen Tuesdays are always tough in terms of the turnaround from a Saturday we've gone from the same 11 um, which is, again is a it's not a big ask but it's because the young fit athletes but I think there's a again I think there's a mentality there's a mindset in terms of players um, that wasn't there certainly 20, 25 years ago that um, they maybe don't trust the bodies that they can repeat and be able to play 50 and 60 games a season um, and sometimes getting yourself up and motivated on a, on a, on a, ch on a Tuesday following on from a Saturday with the same team can be tough. I thought our attitude was spot on from the, from the start. Like I say, got ourselves in a winning position but tried to see the game out um, too comfortably and cause ourselves some problems. Having said that, you, you, as you rightly say, you did cause yourself some problems, but earlier in the season you were bemoaning individual errors and they were costing you games, but it, that, that seems to have been eradicated largely now, doesn't it? Or are you getting away with some things as yeah, well? Yeah, that's always the case, isn't it? When, when you're in a, a run of winning games, yeah. things tend to go in your favour, so a, whether it be a deflection or a, a bounce tends to land to you rather than the, than the opponent. So that's just, that's just the way life works mm. in my football. Um, but in the main we are making less crucial mistakes if you yeah. like um, and little bits are going in our favour and, and, and long may that continue because when it does happen then it makes, makes the game so much more so much easier. Louis Barry was electric particularly sort of the first half an hour or so I mean when he's in that kind of mood he's absolutely unplayable isn't he? Yeah he, he's, he's, he's balanced, he's, yeah. he's scary in terms of um, he gets in positions where you think he has to, um, and largely, sometimes you would see it as be, there's contact, whether he's fouled yeah. or not, but you think he has to hit the floor and he manages to stay on his feet and yeah. wriggle, a wriggle on the, um, the sideline, the byline, like no one I've ever I've seen. Um, he just, like I say, just missed that that finish, if you like, to keep his, keep his run going, but listen, ultimately, um, individual accolades for him will, will come, um, and the goals will keep coming, but he's played his part in um, what for us is a, an important win to, to back up what we've done over the, the last few weeks. Somebody allowing him that freedom on that left hand side to play like that is Ethan Pye behind him. I thought Ethan was terrific tonight and he's, he, I know it's not his position but he's making it his own at the moment. Yeah, he's putting it, a really it good is. Shift. It's, not, it's not ideal. Um, again, we miss him being, yeah. um, we miss as, a, as a, a, a sort of a consequence of that. You miss Ethan in terms of that left side, uh, left side defender. I thought his first couple of decisions were wrong. I thought he, like I say, he first one should have played in behind, played to feet. Second one should have played to feet, played in behind. Um, but the the thing that we, we we've, again we've said to him, and it was it was better because we're on our side. Was that in his in that position there, especially if you're. And listen, he's not uncomfortable because he's played there mm. in terms of what he was asked to do as a, a back three for Gateshead last year, right, and, yeah. he, and he played there for, for spending all the season before as an orthodox left back. So he can, he can do it. Um, but if you've got any problems with the position he's put in, if you can put the ball down the side and keep it between the penalty area and the touchline and make sure the ball doesn't go out, go out you've got a willing runner in mm. Louis specifically, or if necessary, Tanto. Yeah. So that, for me, 
as a as a defender, whether you be a centre back or a full back, they are out balls. They're always going to be there. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Can I yeah. put the ball in there? And, and we say that we saw that all all, all the time. Um, and he grew into the grew into the game. Like you say, he got done once one v one against McAllister in, in the first half. But uh, after that, defended really really well. He's learning the game. You look at dealing with. Dealing with Troy Deeney, who's played at a very top level, and how he uses his body and yeah. things. So he, yeah, loads and loads of uh, loads of positives. He'll get better, and that was why we felt that um, at the start of the season we needed to to sort of persevere and accept that he'll make some mistakes, but he'll be miles better for it the more games he gets under his belt. You were not too despondent at the start of the season when things weren't going your way in terms of results. Now you've won five in a row. Are you allowing yourself a little bit to get carried away and get excited perhaps as you no. see County fourth in the table? No, because I know what happened last time on five in a row. We went to battle and were absolutely horrendous. <laughs> um, so it's, I, like I say, I, it's easy to say now, but at the start of the season, I still had belief in what we were doing. Mm. We were getting punished and um, we were making mistakes. And because that um, whole situation mirrored what had happened the previous season, um, then you're always going to look and go, well, why didn't and why have we not sort of learned from it or changed? Yeah. We didn't have to change. We were, we were we were very very consistent in terms of the message we gave across. across. Listen, yes, we're going to absolutely analyse things, and if players need telling that they need to do better, then they're going to be told they need to do better. But there were loads of positives um, in defeat um, because we'd done. Lots of things right. I think what we've done in the in the, the past five games is we've had a little bit of luck. We've scored more than two goals in our previous, I think, our last six games in terms of league games, and, and we've won five of them. So um, yeah, it's easy now to say I knew I knew it would turn. I knew it would turn. You, you have to ultimately get things going and, and and try and turn that turn that momentum. That gets reinforcement, um, and listen, we're going to get stronger because um, we are. We are really young as, yeah. uh, in terms of the bench and, and what we have, um, and if we can get through, like I say, this this month unscathed, then um, by the back end of this month, I would hope you would see Noel, Camps, Powell, Wotton, Hippolyte, um, and and all of a sudden you you add them to mm. our squad um, with. Burner probably not too far behind, and hopefully we get good news on Ibby uh, tomorrow yeah. or Thursday. Then our struggle stru uh, squad looks ridiculously ridiculously strong. Um, we've picked up a really good run of results whilst having them out, which is a massive, massive positive. Mm. Just finally, Dale, I, I thought you know looking at Forest Green tonight, I thought they, <clears> they gave you a game. They came out. They weren't going to sit and defend. Could be different on Saturday, couldn't it, Doncaster? If you think back to last season, they, they were they did sit in, they sat deep, they tried to soak up pressure and play on the break and frustrate County yeah, to an extent. It, they did, but a different manager, um, different I suppose scenario for them. They're on the back, yeah. they're on the back of a, a win uh, tonight yeah. for them. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We've got to do what we've got to do what it takes, um, and whether that be playing against the a deep block, a mid block, a high press. Ultimately, it's about us doing what it takes to, mm. to to win to win the game and put ourselves in a in a good position. Um, in turn, listen, Forest Green are probably in a position that, in the table that's that's false yeah. um, with what they've done so far. They've got a good squad. They are hampered massively by by injuries, similar to, similar to ourselves. Um, we've just managed to find a formula that at the minute is picking us up them them results, um, and and they're not. Um, but they'll get through this this spell that they have and, and, and turn things around. And listen, it showed in the, the back end of the game there with with ten men in terms of what yeah. they've got with, within their within their team. Yeah. Um, so when you add the and they've got similar to us, probably eight or nine players out. When you add that back in, they become a much different team. And you only look at the, the top end of the pitch in terms of potent strike force and goals in their team. Um, so again, for us to to keep them out tonight and and, and get a clean sheet and and take us to a 2-0 to a win is, is hugely pleasing. Five in a row, well done. Cheers John, thank Thanks, you. Man.